Understanding Teaspoon of Vanilla, a flavorful journey into English phrases. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a sweet and simple phrase that's commonly used in English, especially in cooking and baking contexts, teaspoon of vanilla. Whether you're a language learner looking to expand your vocabulary or a culinary enthusiast wanting to understand recipe instructions better, this video is for you. Let's explore what this phrase means, how it's used, and why it's important. A teaspoon of vanilla might sound straightforward, but there's more to it than meets the eye. First, let's break it down. Teaspoon. A teaspoon is a unit of measurement used in cooking to measure volume, especially for small amounts of ingredients. It's also a common utensil found in kitchens. Vanilla. Vanilla refers to the flavor derived from vanilla beans, which are the pods of a type of orchid. It's one of the most popular flavors in the world, known for its rich, sweet aroma and taste. When combined, a teaspoon of vanilla refers to a specific quantity of vanilla flavoring, often in the form of extract, added to a recipe using a teaspoon. Understanding measurements like teaspoon is crucial in cooking and baking. Precision is key to achieving the desired outcome in a recipe. Adding too much or too little vanilla can significantly affect the flavor of a dish. This section emphasizes the importance of accurately measuring ingredients and how a seemingly small amount like a teaspoon can make a big difference in taste. Vanilla is not just a flavor but also a significant cultural element. The phrase, teaspoon of vanilla, can evoke feelings of warmth, comfort, and nostalgia, often associated with homemade cakes and cookies. Additionally, vanilla is used metaphorically in English to describe something as basic, ordinary, or lacking in variety. This dual meaning showcases the rich linguistic and cultural significance of vanilla in the English-speaking world. We hope this video has enriched your understanding of the phrase, teaspoon of vanilla, and its various dimensions, from culinary applications to cultural connotations. Remember, language learning is not just about memorizing words but also about exploring the stories and meanings behind them. Thanks for watching, and happy learning!